It's about six o'clock and it's a Sunday morning and it's been raining <clears throat> and the power just went off. I, I was watching a movie on DVD and all of a sudden there was a big poof and the lights went black. Then my transformer must have been blowing up or something because it uh, uh, it went off it, it all of a sudden the power came back on and then there was a big bang and it went off and then there was a big flash and it came back on again and then it went off again but this third time it stayed off so now here I am at 6 o'clock on a Sunday morning my coffee's not made I was in the middle of doing something on the computer in addition to watching something on television and I'm stuck here with just a candle for illumination. It's too dark to read. I'm wide awake. I fed the dogs by by flashlight. I don't know when it's going to be light. I can hear the rain outside. But we'll see how long it lasts and what I'm going to do in the meantime. You can't see anything if you can hear the rain. It's going to be a long time before we get the power back on again, I think. Let's see what we can find with the flashlight. That dog's decided to do the only neurological thing and curl up and go to sleep. No, she's chewing on something. This is very strange. I guess all that's left for me to do is to curl up in a chair and try to get some sleep. Let's see, the power went off at whatever time that is. I can't, can't, even, can't even get the... Oh, there we go. At 6.30. That's when the power went off. If I look outside, you can't see anything. Well... Very strange and very frustrating. I hate it when it's like this. Poor pathetic candle over here. It's illuminating what used to be the television set and is now a big black box. Well, this kind of reminds me of when I was giving birth. In the years when I was giving birth, they tied you down to a delivery table and you could move your hands and then, as soon as they tied my hands down, my nose started to itch. And I couldn't scratch my nose. So now that there's no power, I can think of a bazillion things I want to do, all of which involve power. The sky is getting lighter. But all that means is I'll be able to turn off the candles. I won't be able to turn on the computer. I think I'm going into withdrawal. And I don't know what the dogs are doing, but there's a lot of banging going on right here. Lottie well, has something that's shiny. I don't know what it is. I better go check it out. It was a part to a printer. I guess it's no longer a part to a printer. Maybe Damn dogs. Gorgeous coffee. I really want a cup of coffee. I realized that I could actually make coffee because we don't have, we have a gas stove, not an electric stove, and you can light the burners. But then I also realized that we don't buy ground coffee, we buy coffee beans, and there's no way to grind the beans. So, no coffee. It's not right not to have coffee at this hour of the morning. Reading by flashlight was a lot more fun when you had to do it under the covers so your mother wouldn't find out. It's not quite so much fun when you have to sit here in a chair and try to move the flashlight across the pages because there's no power. It's getting much lighter now and much more windy. It doesn't bode well for getting power turned back on soon.
but at least I'm going to be able to blow out the candles pretty soon. I think I have some ground coffee in here. It's not <coughs> French roast, but it's fresh ground coffee. And but I bought a cafetiere the last time we had a power blockage. So now I come over here to the stove. I'm going to need my... Ah, look at that power of a gas stove. I can boil water. I can have coffee. I'm close now. The water's getting hot. I'm going to be able to have coffee after all. It's time. Look at that. Hot water filling cafetiere. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm going to have coffee. Now let it steep for a little bit. And then the moment. Okay, I think the coffee has steeped long enough. So I'm going to plunge the magic plunger to push all the grounds to the bottom. Ingenious little machine, this. Okay, and now the moment. drinking Pete's French Roast Coffee, but by golly, I've got my coffee. Ah, all's right with the world.